this video, we're going to continue doing polynomial long division, but these problems are going to have missing terms in them. As we set up our long division problem, it's important to know that the exponents must count down. And what's important there is none can be missing. We cannot skip a number. We can't count down 4, 3, 1. We can't skip numbers. If something is missing, we will have to add 0 of it, either 0x squared, or maybe we have to add 0x, maybe just add the number 0, but every single term needs to be accounted for as we set up our long division problem. So for example, if we have 3x cubed minus 50x plus 4 over x minus 4, you notice the exponents counting down, we've got x to the 3rd, 1st, and 0, which makes the variable go away. We've got 3, 2, 1, 0, or actually we got 3, 1, 0. We're missing the x squared. For some reason, my squared isn't showing up. There we go. We're missing the x squared, so what we will do is we will account for it by adding 0 x squared as we set up our long division. So with the x minus 4 out front, we're going to divide it into 3x cubed plus 0x squared, there's that missing term, minus 50x plus 4. Once we've done that, then we can work through all the same long division steps that we've seen before. Start by dividing the front terms. The 3x cubed is being divided by x, that leaves 3x squared. And then we need to distribute that onto the divisor, giving us 3x cubed minus 12x squared. The next step, we remember to change the sign on each term, making it a negative 3x cubed and a positive 12x squared. So the x cubes divide out, and we're left with 12x squared. Next, we can bring down the next term, the negative 50x, and we can repeat the process again. We have 12x squared as the front term, divide out the x, and we end up with just 12x. Positive 12x is our next term. Then we need to take this positive 12x and multiply it by each term of the divisor. That's going to give us 12x squared minus 48x. Again, the important next step is going to be to change the sign on each term. When we do that, the 12x squareds will subtract out to 0, and we're left with negative 2x. And we can bring them down the next term of the plus 4. One more time then, divide the negative 2x by the front term of x. That leaves us with just negative 2. And then we will distribute that negative 2, giving us negative 2x and positive 8. Again, we will want to go back and change the sign on both of those, so that the 2x's subtract out to 0, and 4 and negative 8 give us negative 4. With nothing left to bring down, that negative 4 then becomes our remainder. So if a term is missing, we need to remember to add 0 of it, 0x squared in this case. Let's try another example where we'll see a missing term, and we will have to account for it. Here we have 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 9, all over the x plus 3, You'll see there's a missing term again. We go 3, 2, where's the x to the first? We need to have 0x in there. So when we set up our long division problem, the x plus 3 is divided into the 2x cubed, cubed, plus 4x squared, plus 0x, plus 9. And now that we've accounted for that 0x, we've got every term, 3, 2, 1, 0 on the exponents, so we can start dividing. 
same process again. Take the front term, the 2x cubed, and divide out an x. That leaves us with 2x squared. Distribute onto each term gives us 2x cubed plus 6x squared. And then we're going to want to change the sign on both terms. So the 2x cubed subtract out to 0. 4 minus 6 is negative 2x squared. And we'll bring down the next term, the plus 0x. And we can repeat. Negative 2x squared, divide out an x. Divide out an x, we're going to be left with negative 2x. And again, we will distribute, giving us negative 2x squared minus 6x. Being careful with the signs, we have to change the signs before we combine the terms. The 2x squared subtract out to 0, we're left with a positive 6x. And we can bring down the next term, bring down the plus 9. Dividing one more time, we take the 6x and we divide out an x. That leaves us with 6, a positive 6. And again, we'll distribute the 6 by the x and by the 3. 6x plus 18. Change the sign on both terms. And then we're ready to combine. The 6x is going to 0, and we end up with negative 9. With nothing left to bring down, negative 9 will be our remainder. Our quotient then, 2x squared minus 2x plus 6, with a remainder of negative 9. As we're setting up our long division, it's very important we remember that the exponents must count down, and no exponent can be skipped. Which means on occasion, we'll have to add 0, 0x, 0x squared, or whatever needed term is missing.